okay uh, welcome back guys if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to the channel so that should encourage me to kind of drop more content like this so let's carry on with this okay if you let me take I think I'm using the wrong one. This is the right one. I just made it back up just in case. So back in here. Uh, <clears throat> okay, let me put this here. I still feel you need to make some corrections to the nose, I think. Let me just take a look at this piece. Try to figure out the general shape of the nose properly. Okay. With the move brush. Okay, I pushed. Let me push this in. <coughs> I think this should work. It's always good to kind of push this out a bit more from a distance so you kind of figure out tightly from a distance. Right, so it should be fine for now. Yeah, this should work. It should work just fine for now. Maybe I should smooth this out a bit more <coughs> right something like that should be fine I use this them standard brush to have an indentation around the air okay fold around the fold around the uh, let me see <clears throat> uh, okay There's something there was not so much around the air uh, and I can see this bone protruding out a bit more let me see if I can show you guys okay where is that okay this bone around here it's kind of popping out a bit more so you can do this in two ways we can either push this in a bit more or fill up this part a bit more so i think since we're going for something that that is kind of a bit deep around this region so i think i will just push this in some more let me use the should I, let me use the dem standard brush instead kind of cap have a bit a bit more depth around here a bit more depth around here we would also need to get some depth around here also let me show you guys where that is so i'm not just doing something you guys understand so basically i'm trying to create this shape around here like so that I'm trying to create, so that's what we have around here, also. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> but you don't want to make it too aggressive, though. You don't want to make it too aggressive. Maybe I should undo that instead. Do something light, make it a bit lighter. Let me go over that again, like so. <clears throat> I'll do another one also across here, something like you no, know, bit better. Am I doing it correctly? So, is this shape we have here? This shape we have, I think. Okay, I'm using the wrong one. This shape we have here, yeah, like so. <clears throat> so I want to make sure I'm doing that correctly. 
it's still on the same damn standard though. so it goes all the way to the edge around the here then cuts across here like so trying to block out those shapes properly so i definitely know there's one around here let's see you can see something around the here like so so let's do that also something now we have around here we're still on the same damn standard brush i think i will let me start by oh this one needs to extend out a bit so let me the smaller size extend this out a bit first like so then carve that shape in thinking to do this here. let me make sure i'm showing the reference so so i know where exactly to put that okay it's roughly where roughly around where it should be so roughly around where it should be so that's fine okay something pretty much like this okay you can see how this is a crease a crease a crease around folding crease around this part so to start with i need to tighten this one a bit more tighten this a bit more Just make it a bit more obvious in there so we can have shadows sneaking sneaking into that edge since we have more depth in there now that's why we have shadows sneaking into that edge but just to make sure it's clear and sharp enough i don't want to go i don't want to go overboard on that door but just make sure it's sharp see if we can okay something here also the depth the depth around here so let's see if we can get that in so you can just kind of find most of this shape and then just kind of block that in it gives you a really good point to more or less like kind of creating more or less like creating guidelines to know where some sh primary shapes sh pre shapes or demarcations should be I think I need to fill this part up. I need a closer view on that. I need a closer view on that. I also need to no. Uh let's see. Let me do this from the side view instead. Let me get these parts. Give it a separate poly group so I can easily <clears throat> so I can easily isolate it and then go in there and work on it a bit more. So there needs to be some kind of thickness around. Let me see if I can just kind of map this out like so first. Then add some thickness to it. Okay, something to start with reduce this size a bit more just kind of carve it out like so so if you notice i'm kind of moving in between places i'm not just focusing on just one part kind of moving in between places to make some corrections to them okay um I'm not sure how thick this part should be though. This this orangey shape around here, this shape around the uh, this entire shape. I'm not entirely sure how flat it is. So I need another reference to kind of give me a good idea. Another reference to give me a good idea. But let me save this first. Save this first. So we are limit we are, <clears throat> we are limited on we are limited on references for this so <clears throat> we'll just try and make as much of this as we can. But I believe the reference we have should give us a good should put up 
put us in a good place to work with. Since we're kind of blocking out, blocking out most of the shape in there already. Okay. <clears throat> Let me check this from the top view. I think this is a better view. Okay. So that's a better, this is a better view. And I think I would like to use the move brush to let me get this. Let me get a view like this first. So you know, just talk with just one view. I'm not going to move between different views. But if I, let me max this out. If I do that, I don't want to make mistakes. So hold control and just drag a selection like this. So that will kind of look for gaps in between. Like for example, if I have gaps in between the mouth, so I'm create to create gaps in between. It will kind of stop from matching. And overlapping that gap in between so now i can no i think i need a bit more i think i also need to do this in the higher subdivision level let's do this in the higher subdivision level so we can actually see see the shape a bit see the um see the marks a bit better Okay, yes, I think, this, <clears throat> I think this is a better one. This should be a better one. Let me undo that. And deselect this part. Then mark that out again. I think something like this should be fine. No, invert the marks. Blow that out a bit more. Okay, I think now we can we have a better shape to it. Trying to figure out the shape around here. Let me take down the subdivision level. Probably leave this out just a bit more, just a tiny bit. I think something like that should be. Let's check this from this view. Get this down. Reduce the both size get this down okay so there's one detail i miss for the nose which i would like to block in so there's a side view oh, here is this, 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 this view you can see a shape around here entirely sure how much of this I want to do. Let's see. Let me start by filling this up like so. But with the directionality to it, something like this. <clears throat> Smooth that down a bit. <clears throat> I'm just trying to add a bit more lump to it. Then I can use the damp standard brush and then basically trying to recreate this shape in here. So, more or less somewhere around here, like so. Okay. So let me get a good angle on this. Okay. You can see the shape here also. Okay. okay. Something pretty much like this should be fine. And I'll do it gentle smooth also. Not too much though, I still want it to be showing in there. Maybe <clears throat> with the clear brush instead. Let me see if I can find that bone around there so I can better illustrate what I'm trying to do next. Nothing extremely important, but this just gives it gives it a bit more human touch to it let's clear it out okay, yes uh, that's not clear enough yes yeah, so something like this on the edge here around here this height around here <clears throat> so it looks somewhat like trying to fill this edge edge up a bit more somewhere around here if i should do this like so okay 
We don't really have a perfect side view for this. That would give us a clear idea as to how to pull out the if, if I'm meant to pull out the nose at all. But it seems like okay, let's see. Let's look for a good under angle. Maybe that should help. It seems like it seems like this seems like this part is slightly elevated. Is slightly elevated to get some elevation in here. We just back some more. Okay, maybe we can probably leave with something like this. This I need to smooth down a bit more, like so. For now, we're scoping symmetrically. We'll be breaking that up later on. For now, let's just keep scoping symmetrically. Let me do a quick save. Okay. Let's look at this from a profile view. Let's see what we have. Okay. Uh, for the this side of the jaw, I think I need to define that slightly. Let me see if I can find a reference for this. Uh, let's go for something strong. Let's let's use this instead. Let's go for something strong. And now looking at this, now I see I need to even push this back more a bit, back a bit more, so we can easily use. The them standard brush dig that back a bit more. Seem you also need to flatten this out a bit more. Um let's try oh, I don't I'm not sure it probably should be a good tool to use. Uh build something on top of this like so. A bit more. Dig this down. Smooth. Blend this down a bit more. Just gently. So light-handed. For now, you want to go more or less like light-handed and mid-light-handed also on this, if that makes any sense. So I'm kind of moving in between using realistic references and <clears throat> also sticking with the concept where they have. Just to get a bit more of both worlds into this to make it look a bit realistic. So let's <clears throat> sink. We use the dem standard brush, carve some depth around here, smooth that out. Looks faint for now though, but stay in there. Maybe dig a bit more, then fade it out some more. Fade it out some more. <clears throat> now for this one, I'm going to be using the I think H polish brush should do a better job in here. So we can block out this temporal line around here. So there's, a, there's an actual shape to it, so something pretty much like this. <clears throat> uh, that doesn't look absolutely correct yet. Let's get this around here. Weird, I know. Let's smooth that out. You don't just you don't just smooth out the middle part. You want to kind of smooth out the edge. So you're going for smoothing out the end and get a nice feed at the end. Okay. <clears throat> I think this should almost work for now. Let's see what. Okay, I did the jaw. Let's get the jaw in there. We'll come back to the forehead later. But let's get something for the jaw. Let me use the standard brush instead. 
that's way too big hold out and dig in a bit more smooth this edge okay so you don't want to go too sharp though let me use them standard brush and kind of maybe tighten out these parts smooth but it feels like it's forward way too much let's use the move brush get this somewhere like so okay And the shape there also so let's find the shape it is it's an interesting shape around that part so i don't just copy the showing you guys so we would <clears throat> is it okay something like this so i let me use the clear let me try the clear brush in here so I'll just hold out and just try and dig something around here, smooth a bit more. Mm, something pretty, <clears throat> pretty much like that for now should be fine. Okay. Let's move to the forehead. Let's get some, get some details in there. Also, the skull shape, I'm not really liking this. The skull shape looks a bit massive. So, it's already on the lowest subdivision level. Okay. I like to use the skull shape. And maybe I want to use this as my reference instead. So, let's get a smaller skull shape in here. Oh, wrong brush. Move brush. Okay. Still on the move brush. I want to move this in a bit more. Gentle push. Okay. Okay. Most of those parts are going to be covered with the beard though, but let me still get something that looks at least good enough push this part in also generally push this down all right Let's see, let me see if I can find that reference for the forehead. Okay. Just to get better shape in there. Uh, I'm not wish I'm using the right ref, ref, my, ref, my correct reference board for this. I doubt that. I don't think I'm using the correct reference board, but at least most of the information we have from this reference board will still work quite nicely. Yeah, it will still work quite nicely. So I can see a shape that cuts across. Let me see. Let me just break that out so I can show you guys. I can see a shape that cuts across like so. Yeah, all the way like this. We've already blocked this out, so we just need to create the other one. So let me see if I can find a better reference for that. Yeah, it's pretty much the same, pretty much the same shape around here. 
Pretty much that's the entry parameter. So let's get that in. So you, you will find out that you'll be spending at least a lot of time on the lot of time on the uh, primary forms. I think something like this. Then fill up this part some more. Smooth the general smooth for this. Think this is a clay build up brush. I don't want to lose the shape, so holding out, I'll just dig in here a bit more. Smooth that out. Yeah, I think we can live with this for now. There's also like a kind of separator in the middle. Let me see if I can find that on the forehead. Kind of separates a bit more, having some lumps on the forehead. Uh, I'm not using, my, I'm not using my, uh, the correct reference board for this. Let me see if I can use one of these scan reference to the locks, if I can find the detail there. Hmm. It's pretty much, let's see. Mm. It's more like a bone structure that is broken up. Like there's an half here, there's another half here. Then we we'll have something. It's separation in the center like that. So let's let's let me just try and block that out quickly if I can. Use the clay brush. Yeah, something like this. And I'll just smooth that out. Smooth that out. Use the dem standard brush in the center just to give it slightly a bit more definition to it. And smooth it out. Fill it up and smooth out a bit more. Uh, something like this. Hmm. I think I need some a bit more depth around the air. So the damn standard brush. Smooth. Not sure how deep it should be though. But I want to be careful, they want to do this correctly as it should be. I think that should be fine for now. Just gives us an extra layer of depth around there. Yeah, everything seems pretty low res for now. Huh. The move brush. Put this down. Let's establish some depth around here. See me also. See me also. Now this part is not going to be visible though, but it's always good to kind of get some shape around there. Smooth that out gently. Mm. 
this month is out. Okay. So when that's out, just to have a primary breakup when that's on that region. This one goes across like this, smooth this out. Smooth this down very much like so. The shape around the air. Okay, let me be sure you guys I don't get you guys confused. So uh let's see if I can find yeah, yeah, this should work. This should work. Sync for something closer to the neck region. Yeah, yeah. So something like this. So this is what we're trying. This is what kind of blocked out. So we have this. So we have this muscle. Oh, okay. So we have this muscle around here, around here, which is what we just blocked out here and here. Then we have this another muscle around here, short one, which is what we try to block out around here. If you notice that, then you can see you can see a lot of depth in here and a depth in here, which is what we have in here and in here also. So that's basically it. Then we have should I call it this? Then we have the neck blade. This shape here, this shape here. So, oh, I try to kind of recreate in here. But okay, let me turn this off. But it kind of, it kind of moving in this way too, in this direction, like so. So, with them standard brush, you can carve something like this in here. Got the shape. The shape looks pretty much something like so. Then let's smooth that gently out a bit more. Then a demarcator at the center, like so. Blend that down. Okay, and then for the back of the neck. So the structure for the back of the neck. So let me let me use the same direction for this. So we have like a depth around. Can say depth around the air, depth around the air, which is what I try to recreate somewhere around the air. So, but we didn't. We have not done that accurately enough. So let's let's do that a bit more accurately. Smooth. You don't want it to be too aggressive, though. So let's just smooth this down. Then this muscle structure here at the back. Let me see. This one, two, three, four. Is that what I'm trying to recreate here? Also, one, two, three, four. Okay, but I think mine is just way too. It's too wide. It's pretty much it's too kind of too wide. So let's with the damn standard brush. Let's block that again, slightly a bit more and a bit more accurately. Okay, somewhere like around here. The shape around here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to kind of fill this part up. Fill this part up, kind of raising the most way, most way bits more around that side. Not too much though, you want to be careful with it. Following the same directionality, maybe even filling up some of this depth we added. Then we can just smooth. Come and smooth everything down. Yeah, I think I went overboard. So, from the same directionality to it, and then I'll just smooth it out. Okay. But the back is not really super important right now. Not super important right now because that is not what we are actually. Focusing on major, the major thing we're focusing on is the face itself. 
But it's always good to kind of have detail in necessary places, though. So that's also important. Okay, so let's do something for the lips. Let me do a quick save in here. Okay, before I close this session, let me just so let me do one thing. The eye. Go out of going out of isolation mode. Of solo mode rather. Let's turn off this menu because I like to match the eye properly first. Get the eye in there. So I'm just going to isolate this like so. So with a move brush, okay. So let me max out the lower part of the eye first. Blow this out some more. So I'm gonna wrap the eyelid on the eye ball. So it sits properly on it. Okay. It's also important to kind of while while we are here, it's also important to kind of give that a separate polygroup also to to make it easier to select. It makes it much easier to select. Let's look for a good angle for this. Blow the marks. Maybe not so much. I think the only part that needs more adjustment should be this part. Okay. Okay, so I would no get this up some more, get a bit higher. Same here also, let's get this up a bit higher. Close that too. Hmm. Invert this. I think the smaller brush size for this. Kind of folding this on this. Kind of folding this a bit more. Get a proper angle on this. Okay. Yeah, I think something like this, something like this should work. Yeah, something pretty much like this should be should work. Still a lot to fix in there though, but I think we are getting somewhere with this. You can see like a separation, but this guy is kind of frowning and looks mean. So let's see if we can just let's Probably this is the last thing we'll do in here. Let's get that shape in there. Though it's something you need to kind of fill up. Something we need to fill up. You can see that by just adding that, we kind of get some more expression to him. It's giving him a bit more of an expression to it. Okay. Let's continue this on here. Well, we need to push this down some more, though. But we need to push this down some more. But let's just get something roughly in there first. There's a depth. There's a depth around here. The depth around here needs to fill.
Pues sí. Aquí. Se debe sin ye. Aquí. All those parts, we need to add some more flesh to it. I think we'll do that later on, but for now, let's just keep blocking the shape in there. Okay. So that what gives, gives it this strong character or look to it. Okay. Um, I'm thinking I should do the lips a bit more before signing out on this for now. Side dots. Uh, this lips is this lips will be a tricky one. Let's get the general shape in. No, more brush. Let's get the general shape to it in the first two sheets to the side a bit like so. And obviously, we know I'm, well, we need to kind of fold this in there. Let's see. No, there's a better way to do this. So, go to the gizmo, hold control, and click on that poly group. That would completely max the inverted part of it. Or leave it, or rather, keep it unmaxed. That will keep it unmaxed. I think I'll smooth this part out first. Well, I think this one will need to go a, to a bit of an higher subdivision level, but for now, let's get some old out on the damn standard brush, then block out something like this. Yeah, I need, we need more subdivision level for this. We have definitely more subdivision level for this. Let me see if I can just get something in there uh, first, at the very least. Okay. That doesn't, that doesn't sit in well. Smoon that out. One thing we certainly certainly need to do, let me blow that out again, is to use the move brush, the bigger size, and push this in some more. Get this. We am pushing. It. I think I'm pushing it out way too much. In way too much, so. Yeah, I think we should find. Invert that, invert this rather. No, nope. do it smooth on this part. I think I smoothed that out way too much. I can, I can see an, a sharp edge around there, and I don't want that. So let me ish. What am I doing? Let me do this general smooth and a gentle smooth alongside also to get better transition around it. Yeah, something like this should be fine. The move brush, get this in and down some more, kind of closing it down. Space this out like this. Yeah, something pretty much like that. So then I would use the damn standard brush and then kind of carve out something around here. It's light for now, it's not very obvious. But at least we're getting somewhere with this. That's the most important part. So I get everything back. Okay. Think all the cuts around here. Smooth. Think my smooth intensity is way too much. Smooth that down a bit. Okay. 
Uh, I think I would smooth this down some more like this. I don't want to, I don't want to make I don't want to make it look too hard to kind of shouldn't look too hard. I was think add some flesh to this also to so it doesn't look too hard. They look quite old though, but old old in figures but not entirely in facial structure like that you can see he has a bit of a white hairs around him but generally not the facial still looks a bit childish more like a childlike facial structure to him remove brush so you can leave this up Okay. Yeah, the side the side profile looks pretty much there. It's looking there. It feels like it's there. And the shape needs to block out around here. I believe the dem standard should do a better job in there for us. Yeah, something like that. Now fill up this part. Fill up this part just to clear that, just to remove that edge where he added there initially. This is a new edge, but it is it needs to have a it needs to have a shape to it. it. Needs to have a shape to it. Oh, if we should use, we can just draw straight lines in there. Each line has a shape to it. it has a shape to it. Yeah, you can see more like you can see yes, the kind of S shape structure around it. Let me see if I can block that out. So you can see more of like an S shape forming there. You can see this S shape forming there all the way down, all the way down here. So pretty much trying to recreate something similar to that. So so I know that this should go. Them standard. This should go all the way here. At the very at the very least but I don't want to go down with too much let me just take this down I don't start to be kind of a bit faint it should be a bit faint I don't want something to aggress uh I think I'll leave this the way it is gently smooth kind of doing pretty much doing like tap smooth on this pretty much doing tap smooth on this do a quick save Okay. Tap smooth around here also. Tap smooth. Tap smooth around there. So if you go one subdivision level higher, you should begin to appreciate most of the detail we are kind of are blocking in there even more. It does need a bit more refinement. Like here, yeah, you need to smooth this out some more. But we are pretty much getting something interesting in here already. Yeah, we need to fill up some more, like so. Smooth that down. Okay. Fill this part up also, too. Smooth that down. Okay. So just, we just continue to make refinements to this. Um, and see this looks good fill this part up smooth so this is just us refining this a bit more I think we need to use the move brush push this a bit closer Use the move the clay builder brush, fill up this part a bit more, just to bring it closer than smooth. Go one subdivision level higher. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. So in the next lesson we'll carry on with this and then begin to refine this even more.